Titled Surrender, Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 8 seems to get straight to the point. Picard's third and final season stars are in a difficult place. However, will we see Jean-Luc Picard and friends be able to retake their starship? With only three episodes left, the stakes are very high for the series. The plot is coming together and timing is running out both for the heroes and villains of this high tension story. Deborah Kamina directs this episode while Matt Akinomura is the writer. The official synopsis tells us what might happen, in a way. Therefore, it does make me wonder if we'll learn more about Vadek's masters. Her mysterious boss is a very interesting plot point of the third season. However, we know nothing about them. The Frontier Day event is fast approaching in Star Trek Picard, yet the real villains have not yet revealed themselves. Here's the synopsis anyway. Vadek forces Picard to make an impossible choice. Deliver what he can, never give, or watch his crew perish. The only salvation lies in the mind of an old friend, an old foe. Welcome to Trek Central, I'm your host Captain Jack and here is your spoiler warning. This week we're reviewing the promotional material for the upcoming episode 8 from season 3. Before we warp into this video, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from your team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Star Trek universe. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, because if you're talking about Star Trek, then we want to hear about it. Okay? Engage. This week's preview pictures give us something we've wanted. Finally we see Jonathan Frakes back in Star Trek Picard. He's been absent, mostly. Well yes, he did appear last week, it was technically not for William T. Riker. However, this week also brings the first proper episode with Marina Sirtis as Deanna Troy. She's the last star of Star Trek Next Generation to join the crew. Technically, she had appeared before via video links and flashbacks, also her appearance at the cliffhanger ending of episode 6. The preview pictures also imply something obvious. This is the Titan crew retaking the bridge and ship. You can easily see the look that Seven of Nine gives Captain Liam Shaw. It seems that the crew of the Titan is still separated around though. While Vatican and Agoons hold the bridge, other characters are spread around the ship. An example of this is Dr. Crusher, still in the medical bay. Jack Crush can also be seen here as well, alongside Picard. Returned to Sean 7, the pair seem to share the look of them planning a counterattack. One of Picard's season 3's soundtrack titles is Get Off My Bridge. Kind of reminds you of Get Off My Plane. Get off my plane. Get off my plane. And another is Battle on the Bridge. Both of these suggest some serious events taking place on the bridge of a starship. Therefore it makes sense of Vadic on the bridge with some action will kick off. I'm all for this. Hopefully we'll see it in Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 8 and not Episode 9 because I really want some action. Come on. Okay, teaser trailer. If you want to watch the full versions of the teaser trailers and Ready Room clips, click the link in the video description. Sadly, Paramount have been copywriting content more and more lately, so we're unable to show full clips in videos. It sucks, I know, sadly there's nothing we can do about it, we've really tried. Anyway, Vadik is once again hunting Jack Crusher. She informs him that he needs to be on the bridge of a Titan or she'll start killing people. The card can also be seen trying to talk to Data Law, who likely comes to the rescue in this episode and takes over control of the ship. We see a bit of this in the Ready Room clip as well. It does seem like LaForge does not want to risk reconnecting Data Law to the ship due to the presence of Law in Data's mind it would likely cause chaos. But I was just thinking while writing this, maybe that's what we need. Having Law cause chaos would easily disrupt Vadik's plans. However, he likely would not see it that way and would rather hurt Picard and his crew than actually help them. Thankfully, while almost absent from promotional material, Worf and Raffi are back. You only see quick clips of them in the teaser trailer, but they're both here. Worf seems to be on board the Shrike, while Raffi's on board the USS Titan, or perhaps another Starfleet starship. William Riker and Deanna can be seen arguing with one of Vadic's changing goons, while the Titan fires a torpedo at the ship, perhaps finishing off a strike for good. So, you thought earlier Star Trek Picard episodes were dark? Well, I think this week's Ready Room clip sets a new bar, in my opinion. Captain Vadic executes the crew of the Titan, while Joy de LaForge locks out Data Law, which Vadic shuts down the ship from the Titan's bridge. Therefore, if I had to guess, expect to see some bridge retaking scene of this episode, like I mentioned earlier. Regardless, seeing young ensigns being gunned down in corridors is rather dark. It shows us Vadic is not messing around. 
I don't have much else to say about the Ready Room clip. It's straight to the point, and Vadik just being the evil type of villain we've come to expect of her. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Notably absent from most of the material for Star Trek Picard Season 3 Episode 8 are both the characters of Worf and Raffi. Obviously, we see them in that little teaser there. Now, it's entirely possible they are going to be back in this episode, which I think is the kind of giveaway there, but we know from episode 6 that Worf vowed to seek and find William T. Riker. However, we've not heard of them since, and obviously until we got the teaser trailer, we didn't think we were going to hear of them. Hopefully this episode answers the question of what they've been doing. It would also make sense to have the entire Next Generation cast reunited at the end of episode 8, therefore giving us a reunion just in time for the final two episodes. Thinking about the end result of this episode, we might be saying goodbye to Vadik. Yeah, weird, I know. The boss has not yet been revealed, yet at the end of episode 7, and some implied by this week's promotional material, we might be meeting whoever this mysterious face is. If so, perhaps this is a real villain of Star Trek Picard Season 3, and not Vadik as we originally thought. Removing Vadik from being the main antagonist would be an interesting choice. We are now in the closing episodes of the third season. After this, it's only episode 9 and episode 10. There's not much to work with. Star Trek Picard Season 3 airs on Thursdays via Paramount Plus for those in the United States. Additionally, on Crave and CTV Sci-Fi Channel for viewers in Canada. However, if you're international like myself, new episodes air Fridays via Amazon Prime Video in international regions like the United Kingdom. Paramount Plus also streams the episodes in select locations such as Italy, Germany and France. There you go. What do you think of the upcoming episode? Let us know your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. As always, if you want to keep up to date on the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down there to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media or join our community Discord server. But for now, I've been Captain Jack here on Trek Central. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later this week with Picard Season 3, Episode 8. Live long fast, my friends. Goodbye.